Well, strangely enough, you don't actually have to know on a molecular basis how a catalyst works, which is a pity because it's quite interesting. Uh, you need to know four things. Uh, so a catalyst provides an alternate reaction pathway. We'll see what that means. It increases the rate of reaction and it remains unchanged at the end. And the fourth thing, well, that will come up a little bit later. Here's the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, which is slow, but can be, uh, the rate can be increased by adding manganese dioxide catalyst. Three possible graphs that we could ask you about with catalysts are these ones here. The first one is an energy diagram. And so that's exothermic. Now that's delta H there, and that is going to be unchanged. The catalyst changes the activation energy, which is the energy hump that you have to go over from reactants to products. So let me draw in the activation energy just here. So that's uncatalyzed. And this alternate reaction pathway, well, I'm going to draw that in with green dots. This alternate reaction pathway has a lower energy of activation, a lower activation energy. So that's on the first diagram. The second diagram for our reaction, assuming that that's time and on the y-axis is volume of oxygen, if I was to add a catalyst, I'd get that sort of line on my graph. Now notice a few things about it. It levels out earlier, so the reaction finishes earlier than the uncatalyzed one in yellow. But it does finish at the same volume. It just goes faster. It doesn't make any more oxygen. It just makes the same amount quicker. And the gradient is steeper, so that means the rate of reaction is faster as well with a catalyst. Because the gradient is volume of oxygen, oxygen produced per unit time. And finally, the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. Now, you've got to give this guy some respect. Mr. Boltzmann actually killed himself. People think because people didn't really believe his theories. It turns out he was totally right, and we spend a lot of time in chemistry studying what he had to say. All right there. So there's the activation energy of the uncatalyzed reaction in blue. And I'm going to shade in the molecules that had the, enough energy to react for the cold. They might not react, they might not collide in the right geometry, but they have enough energy to react, the ones I've shaded in yellow. Now if I have a catalyst, that reduces the activation energy. And so I've got even more molecules that have enough energy to react now, the green and the yellow. And so the fourth thing, which I've been wittering on about, is it lowers the activation energy for the reaction. So we had the three things at the beginning, and finally a lower activation energy for the reaction. Okay, here's my little catalyst.